If you've just recently had an activation on your saw, there are a few steps to take to reset the safety system and the saw before continuing use. First, disconnect power to the saw. Next, reset the retraction of the arbor block. To do this, remove the table insert and riving knife or blade guard and set them aside. Turn the elevation handwheel counterclockwise until the lower elevation limit stop is reached. The arbor will automatically engage the retraction bracket. You will likely hear an audible click. Next, turn the elevation handwheel clockwise to raise the arbor block and blade to their full height. Once the arbor block retraction has been reset, the activated brake cartridge and blade can be removed from the saw. Unlock the cartridge key by rotating it 90 degrees clockwise and setting it aside. Using a blade wrench, remove the arbor nut and washer from the arbor shaft and set them aside. The key to a quick and successful removal of an activated brake and blade is patience. Using a blade wrench as a lever, position the wrench behind the brake here to nudge it slightly off the mounting pins. Then move to the blade and using your hand or the blade wrench, push it slightly toward the end of the arbor. Repeat this nudging back and forth between the blade and brake until they are free from the brake mounting pins and arbor shaft. Set the activated brake and blade aside. Slide the new brake cartridge onto the mounting pins and replace the cartridge key. Turn the cartridge key 90 degrees counterclockwise to lock it into place. Install the new blade and replace the washer and arbor nut. Tighten the arbor nut with the blade wrenches. Once the new brake cartridge and blade have been installed, check the blade and brake spacing to ensure the blade does not come in contact with the brake pawl. If adjustments are needed for the brake and blade spacing, Refer to the blade brake spacing solution video or the saw manual for further instruction. Finally, replace the table insert.